Hi, this is Zach from Fish on Fishing, and I know I look like crap. I'm in my PJs. Uh, it's been a long weekend. Uh, started school a while back, a couple like a week or two ago, which bam. So I'm not gonna be doing too much fishing, but on the weekends, you know, slaughtering the blues, get trying to get some strikers in there, a couple of porries every now and then. But this is just an update video. I'm just saying, um, uh, my aluminum skiff, I bought a seven horse motor for it. And sometime this weekend, I will be buying a, um, uh, a electric trolling motor for it. So, next April, when, uh, striper season in the river starts, we can troll around and slaughter them with the tube and worm, the umbrella just daytime lures and then once it gets to be about June when the bunkers in the river just cast net them early in the morning get out to the race on the big boat and slay them but I mean like me and my dad we went out last weekend on his boat and in the river we caught a couple of small mouse and then we uh, broke down so probably not going to see me on that boat too much anymore and my red boat way out back we're probably going to get rid of that if anybody wants it I mean it's it's yours uh, it doesn't run but we're it's just the boat we're keeping the trailer and uh, the, the motor that runs but there's a motor on there that doesn't run I mean it's going to be pretty hard to get parts or whatever but if you want it just comment below can have it. I mean, I don't want it. And, um, you need your own trailer, though, to transport it. But, um, yeah. And also, what's coming up is, um, the trout fishing's gonna get really good. The pike fishing's gonna get even better. Um, I mean, ice fishing will start around, or, like, I don't know. It's getting pretty cold now. It's early September, so. We might start getting some ice in November, so who knows? Um, I mean, if we get ice in October, then I'll be ice fishing then. If we get ice in January, I'll be ice fishing then. But, I mean, who knows? It's it's just all the weather is. And, I mean, once ice fishing starts, I don't really do a lot of ice fishing. But when I do, I mean, we catch fish and stuff. We're good. But, um, and then I'm really excited for when the winter ends because then it's going to be some like world class catfishing in the river then once that ends it's just striper time and everything and I mean opening day with trout and stuff we got a new spot that we're going to hit up um cause we sort of got cleaned out when we got popped for fishing a day before the season I don't know if I told you guys that but yeah and um couple other things, uh, winter flounder will be coming up and April 1st to May 30th. We didn't uh, catch a lot of winter flounder this year. The season's just getting worse and worse and worse and worse. I mean, 10 years ago, you could go off any pier and catch a lemon easy, but it's just hard these times. And I mean, and the fluke this year, I mean, I went fluke fishing a couple of times and you're just piling through shorts. I mean, I mean, you could take, like, a, a short fish, but, I mean, you got to worry about the fines and shit, especially when you're on a boat. And, um, yeah, so we got a couple more weeks of good fishing in, and then it's going to basically just wind down to just fresh water, and then after that, it's just going to be solid ice fishing. We might do another cod trip. Our, for our first one this year wasn't very good, so... Probably not, but I mean, we might do one on the Hellcat. It's a lot cheaper than the one we did last season. And we might do a um, tuna trip. Probably not, though, because I don't know if we can handle two days on a boat, but if we can, thumbs up to us. Um, one more thing. I know I'm, like, rambling. This video is probably, like, six minutes long or by now, but um, definitely going to get a lot of new tackle and stuff I mean 
we've been working on all our custom stuff. I mean, we got the custom hooks down, the really small ones, for those of you who like to use them to, like, actually catch bunker and actually catch sunfish and perch and pan, just panfish and then cunners and porgy saltwater and bunker saltwater, I mean, so you can use them as bait, whatever. But, I mean, they're really good hooks. I love using them. I use them a lot. Ice fishing when I need to catch, like, some perch for the dinner, for the fry pan. You know, whatever. And, um, that is pretty much it. Other than, uh, trying to think what else is going on. Ah, uh, the catfish journey pass, and I did terrible. But, I mean... The leading fish was only 10 pounds, and that's small. I mean, me and my, I've caught a lot bigger than 10 pounds. But the one thing was, I had a, I had a herring, like a dead herring, frozen herring that you'd buy at a bait shop. And I hooked it, and I just dropped it off over the ledge when I was fishing in Cromwell. And I hooked into this huge fish, and it was a catfish. It was probably about that big, at least 20 pounds. And I mean, I was fighting it for a while. And it bent my hook all the way out. So, I mean, just saying, just a tip to y'all, use really thick hooks when you're going to use big baits like that. Because if something's going to take it, it it's going to bend an eagle claw. I mean, I wasn't thinking, I was just messing around. Because I had two big poles out with a cup bait, and then I just had this. And I was like, well, let me give it a try. And I guess I wasn't think thinking right, but... Other than that, um, just good luck to you guys fishing. Um, once you guys start seeing some albies, uh, give me, hit me up. I'll start fishing for them. Probably going to go this weekend if they show up. But, I mean, you know, i got to get the right tide and everything down. And I might go porgy fishing since it's, like, red hot right now. But who knows, I mean... If I go, I'll post a video, and it will be over there. And, um, oh, also, next season, more hamster charters on my boat. If you want to charter, they're cheap, and they're great. We're going to fish. You can, like, choose whatever species of fish you want. I mean, we'll fish for pike, cats, um, perch, panfish, uh, stripers, large and smallmouth bass, um, sturgeon, whatever swims in the river. Sturgeon trips will be on the slower side, but I mean, we'll catch a lot of catfish, whatever. But, um, if you want to charter, comment below, give me your information, I'll give you a call once the season starts. And, um, it'll be in my little skiff. I mean, guys will think, wow, look at this dumbass in this little skiff doing charters, but I mean, the guys on the bigger boats, they're, they're the dumbasses. They don't even know where the fish are. I know where the fish are. I've been fishing for a long time. I fish daily because I have time. It's not like I work or anything. So I know where the fish are. I know where they run. And I catch a lot of them. So if you want to charter down below, the probable charter is two people um, and anywhere between 100 and 300 dollars depending on what kind of trips. I mean, the the big bass trips where we live eel, that's the one going to be on the high side. And the panfish trips, those will be on the low side. Those are great for father-son trips. Who, if you, I mean, if you like fishing but um, don't really know a lot about it, I mean, we supply you with bait, tackle, and just a great time. So um, just comment below, and I'll start getting out, like, the website and stuff, and I'll give you updates from then. But until then... Good fishing to y'all out there, and good fishing to me. Thanks for watching. I'm Zach from Fish on Fishing.